Okay, we should be good now, I hope. I gotta do the intro again. That should be fun. I'll do it after this little cutscene. Well, cast off, you mean start sailing, kid. I know that. The wheel won't even budge. How do you work this thing? So I work in anything, and there'll be the devil to pay. Try to steal my ship? You've got a lot of brass. Or perhaps you're just lacking the brains. I rage her, it's the latter. I have no idea what voice that was. Wait, I am Princess Lena of Tycoon. Please attempt, accept my apologies, attempt to commandeer your ship. Alright, the one thing I don't like about this iOS version is what they did with Bart's sprite. And look at that. His sprite in game is obviously young, brown hair. But his speaking sprite he looks like older, white hair, and really not barked. No idea where they came up with that. At. Of Tycoon? Sir, this is a formal request from the Kingdom of Tycoon. Please allow us to use your, the use of your vessel. I must get to the wind shrine. My father is in danger. I agree, Thunder Guy. He does look like a girl. Ho ho, the Princess of Tycoon here on my ship. I'm sure we could fetch a good price for this one. Hey, look degenerate, lecherous, piratey pirate. Pretty pirate. Best insult ever, Bert's. I don't have no idea what I said her name for. That pendant. The brig. Aye aye, Captain. Uh, I agree. It does look like a girl. Well, this is genius came up with the idea to steal a pirate ship anyway. Mirror pops. <laughs> Amnesia oh so conveniently returns. Still, I can't believe you're really the princess of Takoon, Lena. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to keep it a secret. It's not that big a deal. But if you're the princess, why were you going to the wind shrine all alone? You've been gone long when the wind slowed to almost nothing. I can't, just can't shake the feeling that something terrible is happening. I stepped out alone to head to the shrine, but then the meteorite fell and you know the rest. It's probably going to be boring for stream watchers, but yes, I have to read the dialogue for LP purposes, because this will be going up on YouTube. Why does the Princess of Takoon have the same pendant I do? She said her father's at the wind shrine? Foreshadowing. Prepare to cast off, lads. Set a course for the wind shrine. Captain, what about the land lovers? Untie I meant sometime today.
Don't worry about it. You think some people actually prefer it when they read the dialogue out loud? Alright. Why? Uh, the only problem with me reading aloud uh, is that I can't ever do the same voice for the same character twice. <laughs> I'm a little inconsistent on that part. I reconsidered your request. You can go back to the brig if you'd rather. Full anchor, we sail for the wind shroud. Hey, something wrong? You do have ears. I hope I don't have to repeat myself. Well? Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> You're not good at reading aloud, Thundaga? Yeah, for anyone newly joining, you are allowed to speak in the chat. I will interact. Makes the commentary a lot more interesting. <laughs> Unlike the first episode where literally no one was watching. So I literally played through the game watching the chat saying almost nothing for the first episode. Full of curiosity, aren't you, lass? <laughs> Skip some dialogue there. Oops. Salidra, come up and say hello. tried it once before, yeah, I don't think I could sound right when I did it. <laughs> well, if you can't make it sound right, make it sound funny. That usually works. Beautiful, isn't she? Salidra and I were raised together. We were Clitch's siblings. Alright, we're off. <laughs> you don't know if you can make it funny either. Oh. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Say hello, Salidra. Oh. Well, it's a little late in the episode now, but since I had to restart it, I gotta redo the LP intro. So, welcome everybody to Assassin Bros. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm streaming live on Twitch. Okay, that's out of the way. Let's go. Captain, shall I sail her to the windshine for you? Yes. Do... Why did I hit yes? I wanted to go to the town first. Oops. I do respond to people's comments, but other than that, I don't say much in your streams. Yeah, I tended to notice that. Right. Back on the town first. Yeah. I love responding to comments, but I get, most of my streams are like last stream where literally no one showed up. So, yeah, it was a very quiet welcome back stream, I can say that much. Pirates are all gonna run into the pub. Ferris is gonna join them. However, we are gonna go down and up. There we go. Come up here. Talk to this girl. Howdy! I assume you knew this adventuring thing, right? You steal this one from Chuck Khan, right? No! Sorry, but we can't have pros coming around spooking the rookies. Hiya! She literally kicks us out of the building. I've always loved that. Anyway, howdy, I assume you knew this whole venture. What's going on? Uh, if you want, you could talk to a lot of these guys and get info, but I've done this enough, and 
I'm just gonna come up and get some treasure. Phoenix down. Potion. Tent. That'll come in handy. It's a trap! Monster attack! Goodbye, Goblin. And we got Leather Shoes, which is probably the... which is the weakest accessory in the game. Two-handed. This ability, you will have one hand. Yeah, this guy tells you about a couple abilities. Uh, that you can use with your different classes, but you don't really need to do that. Yeah, but if you want, you can come here and talk to these guys. I will tell you anything you need to know about the game. Alright, let's see. Equipment. Box. Uh, resistance 3. Defense 3. Why not? I like how whenever you go shopping, Ferris jumps in and goes, Don't forget about me! Alright, uh... We have exactly enough gil for one sword. Uh, I have one unequipped character right now, so... Yeah, I'll be getting sword. Alright, yeah, equipment... Leno? No, you got the knife, you're barehanded. Alright, there we go. And da, 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 da. doing on the revisit to this town, so under the wind shrine. Oh ho, trying to give me the slip. I think not. No, no, I wasn't. Princess Lena! What's happened? What's the matter? The wind suddenly stopped, and now there are monsters in the shrine. What about Father? The king went up to the top floor. He is yet to return. Something must have happened to him. Oh, that's quite the thing to tell the princess. Is. Hint, hint. The crystal up on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go take a look. Ferris, come on. Right. Anytime you want to come and heal, just come down here. This will fully heal all your allies. Which is nice. Uh, counselor, you're in my way. Uh, just a reminder to the chat, even this, though this is for an LP, you are allowed to engage in the chat. Uh, this is going to be an interactive LP since I'm doing it live. <laughs> I say that and drop two viewers. <laughs> oh well. Uh, there's something I want to note about those mold winds up there. Uh, I will be getting to that when I get into a certain formation. That hopefully I run into. Save. This is a concentrated circle. You may rest safely at a tent, a cottage, or even save your game here. Since I have not yet saved my game, let's go ahead and save. Okay. If I really wanted to, I could upload my cloud save and just do the sealed temple or something, but nah, where's the fun in that? 
goblins. My golf and Lena leveled up. Uh, unless they die, golf and Lena will stay uh, at the same experience for the majority of the game. There's one point where, unfortunately, uh, golf will lose some experience. A little trick a lot of people don't know about. You could walk through the wall right there. It contains a broadsword. Exchange that for Lena's knife. I don't believe this room holds anything. It does not. Incoming first boss of the game, the Wing Raptor. Basically, just attack, heal if you need to. And I'm actually under leveled compared to what I normally like to be for this fight. But I think I'm good. Oh, yeah, I'm way good. Phoenix down. And naturally, a lot of the bosses in this game don't drop XP in case you want to do a low level run. Uh, I never got around to doing a low-level run past a certain point, because honestly, I think it's impossible. Alright, this will lead up to the Wind Shrine and what we got to do, but there's a certain encounter I want to get into. Unfortunately, you guys got to watch, since I don't want to skip, since I'm doing this live. Later, when I put this on YouTube, I might edit it down, but... <laughs> My streamers are going to be bored. <laughs> you don't think you'll ever do a low-level run, Thunderbolt? Yeah, a low-level run of this game is just about suicide. Alright, we've got a rod. That'll save some money later. Oh yeah, there's a church chest down here, forgot about that. And then we got a staff, that'll also save us a bit of money later. Come on, it's one encounter. It might be the rarest encounter in here, but it's still here. Let me have it. Save me time. I do try solos or other challenges for it. did a solo run of Final Fantasy X. Yeah, a solo run of Final Fantasy X isn't that hard. Uh, the only thing I haven't beat solo is Dark Anima and uh, Penance. Are the only things I haven't beat solo in that game. I'd like to see you solo run this game. That would be an amazing feat. Come on. I'll do a couple more fights, and if I don't get the one I'm looking for, then I'll just continue. No, this ain't it. Got another rod. <laughs> you only did the original Final Fantasy X solo? Well, that ain't that bad. Nemesis is a bit of a pain, and uh, a couple of the other arena creations, but other than that, it's not bad. Alright, this ain't the formation I want either. Alright, two more fights. If I don't get it, I'll just continue. I like how this is one of the few places in the game you actually get random encounters after a boss fight. However, you did do a 10-2 solo both in the original and HD versions. Uh, DK wants to do a Riku solo. Maybe we should give him, give him some pointers. <laughs> Alright, I'm 
I'm not gonna get it, so I'll just explain it real quick. Uh, do 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 do. Config. Beastry. Basically, what you want right here is three of these. If you can get the formation that has three of these, you have a really, really high chance of getting their drop. And as you can see right there, their drop is an elixir. So with enough patience, you can stock up to 99 elixirs right at the beginning of the game. Yes, they can drop them in the groups that only have one in it, but it's a bit of a long shot. Uh, ten two solo actually isn't that hard. Yeah, there's a few points that might give you trouble. If you're familiar with the game, I can tell you. Uh, yeah, I just got done running through both the original version and the HD version, so I'm pretty uh, familiar with it. I really like Monster Arena. What the? Yeah, elixir drops, nice. Yeah. Not many people know about that because no one ever looks at the beastry, but you can stock up to 99 elixirs right at the beginning of the game. Courage, the essence of flame. Unless you're playing Zelda, then the essence of flame is power. There's a mission in Chocobo Ranch clearing the monsters for Clasco. Uh, yeah, the anything either there gives you trouble if you're low level, even if you're not doing a solo run. Devotion. The an essence of water. Again, if you're playing Zelda, that is wisdom. Isn't that, uh, Chocobo Ranch, uh, area where you also get the AP egg? Well, a a a p a. You can get another one by playing Blitzball. Hope the essence of Earth. Queen Corals can give you trouble because of their Death Blaster move, that obviously kills you. But with Death Proof, it still brings you down to one HP. Yeah, that's annoying. Uh, what I'd recommend is when you see him doing it, if you can, uh, switch to Dark Knight that has. Uh, death proof, or use the Garment Grid that has death, death proof, and uh, uh, switch your XP real quickly. <laughs> or, yeah, switch your XP, switch your dress for you real quickly, and then use an X potion or an elixir. That's how I got through there soloed. Uh, hey, Vortex. Uh, what's up, man? How have you been? Um, I've been pretty good. Passion, the essence of the wind. Uh, again, in Zelda, that is courage. I've been pretty good. Uh, oh, you just meant the mission, normal mission? I don't think solo. Uh, Yang at the apex. The Chocobo Ranch mission is luck-based? Mmm, the five one, yeah. Not really, if you know where to catch a lot of chocobos, but yeah, it's still a pain. What's happening? It feels warm. Are these the crystal essences? Yes, yes they are. And then, uh... <laughs> cool, like cool, like. Yeah, sorry I haven't caught your guys' streams much lately, but I am just now getting to where I'm getting back into all this after a really long, hot summer, so. And you guys are making me skip dialogue for the LP, but oh well, that's a lot more fun talking to you. Father, what do you mean? The wind crystal has already shattered. 
The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening. One that wishes to return everything to darkness. My strategy for that part is blind other than the enemies of the coral. So use the first spell and silence the coral if you're good. I throw up a reflect to bounce your coral spell back. Yeah, that helps. But the problem with doing the first mission is I don't think you ever fight the coral alone. And that's your main problem. Go forth, light warriors. Save the crystals. Crystal fragments are stored within the power of the Warriors of Legend. Knight, Monk, Blue Mage, Thief, Black Mage, White Mage. Oh, you said blind the other enemy? Oh, I read that wrong. I thought you meant blind the coral. The crystal is lending us its power. Poor Elena. Don't worry, Daddy's not dead. Spoilers. It's hard doing a spoiler-free walkthrough of a game you've played so many times. Now, another thing I don't like about the iOS version. In the original Game Boy version, there was a chocobo here that told you how to do everything. This one, it gives you a dang panel. Honestly, I think there's a lot of things about the GBA version that's better. I just like this, so I ain't got to worry about saving. <laughs> Once you blind the other enemy, you just need either silence the coral or throw up a reflect to bounce its spells back. Yeah. Then it's more of a luck-based fight, because then you got to get lucky and hope they don't hit you. The only problem with this solo challenge, though, is that you don't have both a white and arcane mage to, or, well, a white mage and a dark knight to use both reflect and blind. There's a lot of dress sphere switching, which takes a lot of time. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode for YouTube, so if you Twitch followers, hold on a minute, I'm going to restart the stream to split up the episode. So, for YouTube, catch you all next time. And if for my Twitchers, hang on, and I will restart the stream right now. Huh. New episode from Purple Roger, that's cool. And I'll be right back.